everyone and welcome back to the United Star. I am Atanu Vadva and as you might have guessed from my voice, it has been another disappointing game for Manchester United women's team. We have drawn 1-1 to Everton. <laughs> another game, another week, the same result, the same disappointing result. It's embarrassing now. I'm 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 fucking pissed right now. I don't really know what to do. To be honest, I don't know what to say in this review. We all know how the game was. We dictated the game in the beginning. We played some beautiful football in the beginning. But the minute we scored the goal, the minute Ella Toon scored the goal, after that, Everton dictated the game. Everton were the better team. So, first of all, I'll start with the starting 11. I think Hayley Ladd uh, is ill, so she didn't make the starting 11 uh, because in the game as well, we missed her a lot. I think this game could have been a much better. This game could have resulted in a win for United if we had Hayley Ladd. And I'm just saying this right now, maybe who knows the reality, but I do think we missed Hayley Ladd today. Wilde Borisa started. Wilde Borisa was amazing uh i don't know if i should be using the word amazing after an embarrassing result by the team but i do think she put in a good performance and uh, mark skinner needs to pick her more often we saw martha thomas you know when i watch martha thomas uh it reminds me of edinson cavani and his off the ball movement the way edinson cavani presses for the men's team i do think martha thomas does the similar role martha thomas is the perfect number nine in our team Alessia Russo is still, uh, you know, developing into more of a number nine. But I do think uh, if as a striker, I do think other than the goal scoring abilities and uh, the precision, I do think Martha Thomas offers us a bit more uh, than Alessia Russo. Alessia Russo is amazing. I'm not going to deny that. But Martha Thomas does have these qualities of her off the ball movement was fantastic today. She gave an assist to Ella Toon. Ella Toon, as always, amazing. I think... She has contributed to a goal. I mean, <clears throat> she has scored a goal or given an assist in each and every game of the WSL, if I'm not wrong. And she has scored against uh, Everton as well, again. But the happiness was short-lived. Uh, first half was, I think, first half was good. Uh, was was good. Uh, second half, not at all good. It seemed like we were underconfident and or I don't know what happened at half time in the dressing room, but the team weren't looking their lively self. Uh, it's 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 embarrassing, man. It's embarrassing. We we look forward to the game so much, uh, and you know Skinner was uh, Skinner Skinner said after the last game that we were super comfortable. I know I've been sl I've been you know <laughs> giving him a hard time by you, uh, you know each and every time I'm. I bring out the super comfortable word, the super comfortable quote that he said. But <clears throat> what are the standards at this team right now? What are the standards at this club right now? Are we happy with the draw? It's been like in the in the league itself, we have seen three draws in a row. We drew to Manchester City 2-2. We drew to Spurs uh, last weekend 1-1. And again a draw against Everton 1-1. Three draws in a row. <sighs> Man, it's embarrassing. I mean, it's the women's football weekend and I was looking forward to it. I really thought that we were going to win this game. Uh, especially after the performance in the first half, I thought, okay, uh, Skinner has done something on the training pitches. The, the team has, uh, you know, <clears throat> the team has, I think, worked hard on the training pitches, but uh, the same result. I don't know. I don't know what what's what's going to happen, but uh, <sighs> embarrassing. I, I, that's the word. That's the only word that sums up this game. It's embarrassing. Two points dropped for United. I'm not going to say Everton. Like Everton would say, okay, yeah, one point one. Like we got the one point, but for United, getting anything below three points against a team like Everton is just shameful. <clears throat> in the goal that we conceded, I do think uh, the positioning of the centre-backs wasn't good enough. The back four weren't uh, at their particular positions. Uh, I think uh, Mariovs should have done better, but 
you know at the same time i i see that uh, she was getting treatment just before uh, she conceded the goal but at the same like it's it's hard to blame someone the team as a whole failed because even if we conceded that one goal why didn't we create more why didn't we create uh, why didn't we score much more because we all know after that spurs game every fan knew that a 1-0 lead isn't good enough good enough because the game is for the 90 minutes anything can happen and sometimes in the stoppage time as well as we saw against spurs we conceded uh, in in the 90 plus 4th or 5th minute that's the stoppage time equalizer a late equalizer and this time we saw the equalizer in 76th minute i think kirsty hansen didn't start which 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 was a bit weird to me but i do understand that you can only <clears throat> play a limited number of forwards we had lea golton alessia russo and uh, marta thomas on the pitch i don't know where's lea golton man i mean she she's one of my favorite players but i don't know what's happening the team doesn't look its best doesn't look its best its best self i mean <laughs> it's it's a one one draw against everton how how can someone be happy or you know try to bring out the positives and you know we have always won against everton in the league at least we always won against tottenham hotspur so mark skinner has broken two records this this manchester united team has broken two records and that that that, that isn't something to be happy about we we should be ashamed but uh, yeah next game against manchester city in the county cup man i'm sad you know we look forward to these games like i said but uh, another embarrassing draw yes i do get that yeah we got the one point of okay of course yes it's it's better than getting no points but is it what we are now i mean yeah this might be a reactionary review i know like most of the things that i've said might seem a bit odd to people because most of the time i do like to bring out the silver linings and to try to look at things positively but three draws in a row you can't look at things positively anymore some things ha- some thing has to change mark skinner needs to change something it isn't working out with this gameplay either he isn't picking the best 11 or the tactics are bad and you know uh, i was talking to corner from all for united uh, on the on, on our whatsapp group and uh, he he rightfully said that in the in the last three league games we were at a winning position we were winning against manchester city 2-1 we were winning uh, against spurs 1-0 we were winning against everton 1-0 and we conceded we 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 dropped two points from a winning position and that tells you how bad the in game management is it's 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 so poor and you know i i just i don't know what what needs to change i i sure i i i can't i mean i don't really know what what needs to change but uh, this is the review for the manchester united versus everton game which has ended in a 1-1 draw i do hope things change i do hope skinner implements a new system the players are up for it but uh, the only thing that i can sum up this review the only word that i can sum up this review with is embarrassing and uh, something needs to change i mean this isn't the way this team needs to operate this team should operate a 1-1 draw three draws in a row dropping points from a winning position in all of the last 3 games and do i think we can make the uwcl qualification i i don't really know man i i i don't know if if it's possible now because these are the types of games against like these are the types of games where you need to get the 3 points but we didn't get the 3 points which is which is embarrassing so I think this sums up the review of the Manchester United versus Everton game. See you next time. Uh, keep supporting women's football. Keep supporting Manchester United. Glory, glory, Man United.